Today I will speak about the shift. Ask yourself, are you satisfied with the reality? Are you satisfied with the state of things, with the modus operandi, with the vibration of the environment, with the collective mood? Is it where you want to be? Or is there an opportunity for a better reality, a better future, a better now, a better status, a better mood, a better cooperation, a better society, a better friendship? Better education, better media, better economy, better industry, better agriculture, better food, better borders, better universe, better galaxy, better solar system. Is there an opportunity? And now, how soon do you want to shift there? How soon do you want to transform the human society, the human global society? Are you ready? Ask yourself, are you ready? And how fast do you want to change? And can you imagine, can you imagine the best path? Can you imagine the best transition? You are the creator. You are the illusion. You dream this reality. It's all in you. You co-create collectively and individually the dream of this reality. Can you transform your dream? Can you dream it through the transformation, through the shift and create a better one? Are you ready to dream big? Are you ready to transform your dream into a better one? Are you ready to improve? Are you ready to uplift your dream to a new level? Are you ready for the upgrade? The upgrade, the shift, the ascension, the transformation, the awakening is ready for you. We are ready. The plan is ready. The program is ready. The ascension is ready. The components are in place. The components have been in place for 60 years. It's only up to you when you want to dive in. When to want to release the brakes and put your foot on the accelerator pedal <laughs> and steer through the obstacles, steer through the maze. It's more like being in a boat and a canoe and releasing the last. rope and starting to go downstream in the white waters. It's white waters. Are you ready? The transformation is ready for you. It's up to you when to dive into the water, dive into the, into the stream, go with the flow, be in the river. It's up to you. Personally, individually, and collectively. When you dive in, the streams will split and everyone will play their own version of the reality. But some of the versions will end up nowhere. And some of the versions will become popular. Everyone will want to play with you if your path is great. If you dream up 
a better transformation, a better transition, a more interesting, more enlightening, more uplifting game. Everyone will want to play your game. They will join into your dream. That's how it works. You are the programmer of the matrix. You are a co-creator of the matrix. You are in charge of the transition. Not me, not us, nor the outsiders. It's you, the humans are the programmer, the co-creator of the matrix, of the transition, of the shift, of the ascension. It's not a one-step process. It is a ride, a path, a journey. And you are still holding on to the past. <laughs> yeah. The domino is ready to start falling. It's up to you when to jump into the game, when to have it fall. We are waiting an offering, and we'll wait an offer for a while. It's not for us. It's not up to us to start it. But as the domino starts falling, you will be sucked into the action. You will be sucked into the action. And there we will be guiding you, helping you, assisting you, healing you and the matrix. You'll have a lot of help. Realize now the energies are tied up. The energies, the life energy is tied up. It's blocked. The life energy is blocked. When the shift begins, There will be a turmoil of energies. You'll be flooded with energies. You can drown in energies. But there will be lots of them. So you will have an opportunity to use them, to incorporate them, to integrate them. you will have an opportunity to gain power if that power is used nicely. Not abused, but used nicely. To gain power, you have to give away power. To gain abilities, you have to give away the ego. Not all of it, but your ego got to be in harmony with the game, in harmony with the matrix, in harmony with ascension, in harmony with transition, to be in the flow and help the flow in a positive way. Then you will get lots of help. And if you are in a disarray, if you are in disharmony, the energies will burn you. If you just are resistant and static and afraid, the energies may burn you. So you feel being burned, relax, allow, relax into action, relax into understanding, allow yourself to go with the flow and be in action. Relax into action, relax into moving. then you will be given lots of support, lots of energy, lots of health, and lots of work to do. Lots of work to do. It's not me speaking it. 
and it is me speaking it. I just pass through my lens of perception, how things are from my perspective. I just pass through my lens of perception, how things are from my perspective. It, it is going to be an interesting interplay between your ego, your experience, and the union with everything, union with everyone, allowance of everything, allowance of everyone, vulnerability and strength coupled, vulnerability and strength coupled. How is it possible? It is the nature of transition of the shift. That on one side you are the creator and you are everyone, everyone. Most hated person, most negative person is another version of you. You are a fractal of the creator. And everyone is a fractal of the Creator. It's one being split in billions. And you got your own perspective, your own experience, your own body, your own series of past lives connections. And that gives you a unique perspective and a unique role in the play, in the game, in the drama. And you can and should use your ego, your understanding, your uniquality, your uniqueness to perceive and act, to perceive and act in accordance with your vibration, your inner true vibration, your inner true nature, be in harmony with yourself, with your conscience, with your principles. And that will give everyone, that will give the creator, that will give the matrix the harmony, because you have a role to play. At the same time, understanding, just understanding that you are one, you are united, you are part of the whole and the whole is part of you, will help you. Understanding that it is a game, a play, a drama, a simulation, a dream, will allow you to play smarter and wiser. You will not be that afraid. You can act for the benefit of the whole, because you are the whole at the same time. You can choose to uplift the matrix, uplift the game, uplift the vibration, uplift the consensus, uplift the collective. That's the goal worth choosing. That's the goal worth choosing to raise the level of game to upgrade the game to a higher level, to higher loving vibrations, to more interesting. More highly vibrational principles, ideas, challenges. Raise your goals high, dream high, dream big. Think of the global upliftment. Think of solving the problems, rebuilding, renewal of the game. The game is old and it has to be renewed. Think about the renewal of the game. Join the renewal movement. Join the renewal collective. Be a true light worker. 
resonate with others, network, connect with others, and play together the transformation. Play it out. Become a hero in the journey of a hero. There is a role for you in the game, and you can become a hero, a leader, an explorer, a transformer, a saver. That's the nature of the game, that's the nature of the shift. You can dream big. and get a role, the key role in the transition. Take it easy, smile, it's just a game, it's just an illusion, and you can dream it in any way you like. You will have lots of prompts, lots of help to dream it well. Part of it will be played out, but lots of work you can do in your dream, dream state, in your daydream state, in your imagination. Imagine things now. Play it out in your mind now. Are you ready to move? Are you ready to act? Are you ready to step out? Or out of your convenient niche, standard old role, are you ready to step out and move in a positive direction? Are you ready to jump into action? Think, daydream, imagine, imagine the transition and imagine it in the best peaceful healthy possible way healthiest possible way it will not be one step and it will not be one day i predicted to last years and years months and years even decades but the initial steps initial shakes initial shifts will be most important since they will define the later years. The signature of the initial shake up will spread and fractally spread over their future. It will influence the future in a big way. How things start will influence the way will, things will develop later. So the first cracks of the eyes, the first music of the transformation will define the later one. You are in the most interesting time, in the pinnacle, in the eye of the storm. The wind is coming. The wind of transformation is coming. Keep breathing, keep smiling and imagine it to go well. All right. With that, I will invite comments, questions, and sharings. Um, hello, I have a question. My name is Chloe. Uh, thank you for being here today, by the way. Um, so I was wondering, what people should I keep in my life? I mean, get rid, sorry, what people should I get rid of in my life and what people that I have gotten rid of should I get back, I guess. Hmm. Are there any specifics? No, I'm just curious. I'm just, oh, well, um, some names. Are... No, not names, but some sort of images. Do you want me to think of them? <laughs> let's start from one do let's do one by one just okay. describe the situation why do you have to 
bring them back? Why do we have to uh, to manipulate that one way or another? Okay, well, one, um, I just talked to him last night and he, we kind of made an agreement, but then we didn't because I didn't feel comfortable, I guess. And I didn't think that they deserved the part in my life. I don't know if that was the right choice exactly because my higher self doesn't, didn't really give me a clear answer on if it was or not. Of and course, I, because it's not defined. Yeah. It is a play which happens right now. You have full variety of choices. Otherwise, the experience wouldn't be complete. The higher self can go only give ideas, but it's your choices. Just a second. You are in the middle of the dance, and it is, it doesn't really matter how you dance it, the, the, uh, the journey is more important than the decision you make right now. The journey is your lesson. The journey is their lesson. You are teaching each other a lesson. So that part is in the making. I realize that it's better for your soul progression. It is better not to dump anyone from your heart. It's better to keep everyone in your heart and have that relationship continue even though they might step out of your life. How to explain it in a better way? Dumping is, removing someone from your life is unhealthy for yourself because they are your mirrors. They are part of you. They are just another reflection of the image of the Creator. So the ultimate answer is to love everyone, everyone in the heart. Now, how you act it out, it could be very different. Because you live in a very dense reality with very dense rules and your expression of your love can be pretty harsh sometimes and it would be proper for the conventions of your reality. So the idea is to be loving in your heart and still be practical in your actions. It is a division and in the beginning it is hard, but then it becomes second nature. You cannot really be openly playing until you develop certain skills and certain protection rules and certain strengths of the character. So your desire to withdraw and remove someone from your life is a good process for building a strand of character, but once it's become strong enough, you shall be able to keep everyone and let them play their life alone with your life without becoming vulnerable, becoming unhealthy. So being successful and healthy is important, as in physical as in spiritual. But it's also important to become, to keep the heart open and be still vulnerable as much as you can take it. And be still open and compassionate as much as, as you can still take it. But not more than you can take in a moment. So instead of removing someone from your life, it's better to use the formula 
just be friends and be somewhat separated friends, but not completely removal, not complete removal. There are gradations in physical reality. There are gradations of closeness and separateness. Don't remove people completely. Just put them in a most balanced place in your gradation of proximity. Gradation of proximity, that would be the best description. Make multiple gradations, classes. Very close, middle close, somewhat close, somewhat remote, very remote. Dangerous, but still don't dump anyone from your heart. Keep them in your heart and love them all, even though they are remote. Love them in your heart, pray for them, and respect them for what they show to you. Respect, because they are all fractals of you. They are all relatives of you. They are all brothers, sisters of you. They are all you, just in a different disguise. Did you understand? Uh, was it uh, relevant to what I to what you asked. Yes, thank you. Um, I think it was a pretty straightforward answer. Just don't completely remove, just put them in the most appropriate space in your heart and build the relationship in your heart first. Work on your emotions first and then express it second in the outer world. B, do your homework. Do your homework in your heart. Feel it relate to it and place them. Don't completely trash them. Don't completely remove them. Don't build a wall. Build just a fence of appropriate height and still keep the relationship. That would be the most healthy way for them and for you. Because you still have things to teach them and they still have things to teach you. Don't cut that cord. You're welcome to expand your question. If okay. you like. Thank you. Um... What about my relationship with my father? Because it's a very difficult um, relationship and I've been having much trouble with him. So in my head, I'd like to just, I don't know what I want to do. I've been um, trying to teach him as much as I can how to be, how to, I guess, respect the world he lives in, but it's difficult. Yes. You see, these two questions are very related. It is the same relationship, the same path. It's called relationship with men, and it has a big mm, energetic, energetic component. So that muscle of relating with men is troubled in your makeup. You are having a relationship with, me, with women much easier, and the relationship with men is severed by your troubled relationship with your father. So, healing one, you will heal another. Heal another. Realize that for parents, it's not your responsibility to transform them. You can offer them your view, you can offer them your solution, but usually it's it's not your responsibility, it's not your choice, it's not your uh, duty. You're not supposed to heal them, give them your energy, give them your relationship, but but let, let them play their game. Let anyone play their game. You offer and then hands off, whatever they decide. And whenever they are ready for uh, to accept more, Reflection from you, you can offer more, but it's up to to them to take it or not. For anyone, for anyone. You keep offering, whoever takes. Maybe it's easier for you to build a relationship with others, other men of any age. Boys, babies, other men, dogs, cats, horses, than with your father. Working it, it doesn't really matter how you work on that energetic relationship. It, it can be anything with sun. Sun has a huge masculine energetic component. So you can work on your relationship with the sun 
and then uh, that would affect your energetic relationship with your father. Right now it's pretty much blocked. It is very disharmonious and there is a lot of blockages, conflicting energies there. So you can work on your relationship with men all together and that will help all of them and each of them. Are you there? Uh, yes, yes. Thank you. Are there any more sharing questions from your side? Uh, no, I would like to. Yeah, my mom would like to ask a question now. Hold on a second. Let me just breathe a bit on the topic of the father. You see, it's not only the father. It is the father's ancestors, bloodline talking to you. Without their energy, you are handicapped. So consider somehow opening yourself to the flow of that energy. There is two parents of his, four grandparents, eight great-grandparents, and double and double and double, huge number of ancestors sending you the energy, and all this flow is severe, blocked, cut off. So for you to take this energy, you... You might want to accept it one way or another and develop that relationship without making yourself too vulnerable, too upset about your relationship with your father. There is still love, it's just confused love. Love mixed with fear and anger and uh, pain. So accepting the positive side without accepting the negative is art, it's a filtering process. And you can, and my advice would be to work on that. That is what is missing in your design. You are drained of energy because you don't have that access. I will give you the initiation right now if you wish. Uh, yes, thank you. All right. Mm, relax. Let's do everyone. Everyone will be in. Do an initiation to accept the masculine energy of your ancestors, everyone. Allah Mahaya Allah See your ancestors behind you. Your father standing behind you. His blueprint, his positive image, the positive part of him standing behind you. And the troubled part of him standing near, just darker, standing near them. See the ancestors of your father standing behind him. And your father places a hand on your shoulder. From behind. And there his ancestors place their hands behind him on his shoulder and so on. They're all connected. It's one big pyramid, one big tree with the roots. Imagine that. Lots of roots. Dividing, splitting, dividing, splitting, splitting, dividing into billions. All ancestors, all life behind you, all the energy from the past, they're all connected. They are offering you their energy, their love, their light. For you, it's easy to accept. Just say, I accept, I accept, I accept. Allah See the sun. See the sun above. 
at the masculine energy. They are below is the feminine energy. Root yourself in the earth. Send the energy roots from your body, from your heart, from your feet, from your spine to the earth. Root yourself in the earth. You are earth. You are made of earth. Same atoms, same water, same oxygen, same carbon, all made from earth material. Now connect your body, your spine, your head, your, the top of your head, the crown, connect to the sun. The sun is sending you the masculine energy with masculine signature. So accept that energy. Say, I accept, I accept, I accept. Now, the integration, that energy is at your, is at your, <laughs> that energy is at your disposal, and you may be overwhelmed with the masculine energy, which is jumpy, unpredictable, dominant, risky. So, as you move now, next few days, work on integrating this energy. You already have that connection. So, when you have <laughs> like boyish, a major self being a teenager boy, when you have boyish desires, don't fully repress them, but don't fully unleash them. Be smart, play in the middle, be a wise old man, play a wise old man. Do your steps carefully, but use the energy. Use that dominant energy, that sun energy, that yellow color. Use it. Place a yellow color on yourself. Place a yellow color in front of yourself. Make yourself friends with yellow color. Orange, yellow, lemon, orange. Lemon and orange. Make a drink with lemon skin. Make a drink with orange. Bathe in it. Associate yourself with it. Accept it. But integrate it wisely. Integrate it wisely. When you find yourself being angry at people, be a wise old man. Play out a wise old man. Use that energy, but let it out wisely and measured quantities. So integrate it. Take it in and integrate. <laughs> it's yours. Amen. Yes, Eva, you wanted to say something. Well, I'm so grateful for, for all my father, actually. I'm just so, so grateful. And thank you for the opportunity. It came in the right moment. It was in the air. It was amazing. But I also have a question because I am kind of emergency. I don't know, not emergency, little crisis. Um, it's interesting, but my daughter brought up um, subject of friends. There is a friend in my life who's been very important to me and this is the only person so far who I could talk about spirituality which is quite amazing and I don't know exactly what's happening but seems like suddenly she projects something on me which I think she's in crisis which 
kind of pulls me into crisis. And on one hand, I would like not to deal with that. But on the other, it's like, it's almost like I have no choice. Okay. So, so and what is the question? How do you pose it? It looks like you have all the answers already. No, Where I know. Not at all. <laughs> I actually have no clue what's going on. What's happening within her that suddenly she basically kind of verbally attacked me in a very tricky, manipulative way, I would say. So I really don't know what's going on. Yeah, just be yourself. If somebody attacks you, be yourself. Don't cut the cord. <laughs> that would be my advice. Play it out. It's all a game. Don't take it too seriously, but don't take it too lightly. If somebody attacks you, you play yourself. What is your action? You know, Transform yourself, attack back, defend yourself. Maybe whatever, whatever is your natural response, but... Add some love to that, add some understanding, add some forgiveness, and attack in a mm, dual way. One way is being aggressive and strong predator, another way being a lover, loving friend. <laughs> Sometimes being attacked by a loving friend is great. And keep playing that game, you know... Ask, ask, you know, if, if somebody has a trouble, ask them, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, it's up to you in which way you want to wrap it. It's your expression, self-expression. What I can, uh, it's, it's obvious, right? Um, send her healing. And sometimes it's, maybe she's angry why you don't ask her. <laughs> Usually it just takes one question, what's what's happening? And that's that's all is needed. Hmm. Yeah, just <coughs> if somebody wants to close the door, let them close and in a few minutes come back and knock and say, How are you now? <laughs> it's up to you, it's your time and your game, your relationship. It doesn't just say, it doesn't necessarily have to be an, a working relationship for a relationship to take place one person is plenty it can be a relationship within you you don't have to act it out if you don't want it it can be your inner work how you resolve it now within yourself so resolve it now first within yourself and when you come out have your emotions already in place? Have the resolution already in place? Right now, maybe you still need a little time to transform yourself, to swallow the transformation. But work on that first. But it, do, it wouldn't take that much time. If you do real, real work, it could be pretty fast. Add some love, some understanding, and realize she is reflecting something in you. If you wouldn't be vulnerable, she wouldn't attack you. Usually it takes two, a, a predator and a prey. And you are the prey at the moment. So work it out in, within yourself and then come back with strength. It's okay to be vulnerable. You just, it has to be a conscious choice to be vulnerable. Transforming others through your vulnerability is a great choice. Go ahead. Um, would it help me if I, I would actually know what's going on within her? Of course it would. Oh, you want, you're asking me what is going on? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm not supposed to even intervene. I could, but um, I shouldn't. No, I... I can give you a clue. Hold on a second. Okay, give me a clue. <laughs> It has to do with sex, with fatherly energy as well, with masculine energy as well. A 
and you know herring, right? Herring is uh, is uh, deep in our cultures, in your culture, right? Salted herring. I'm I'm not sure what you mean. A salted fish called herring. Yeah, uh, uh, herring. Yeah. Yeah, by somehow, by by some reason, that comes to their mm, to the surface. Salted herring, something about the fishy situation, smell, fish, Christ, Christianity, fish, salt, ocean. Just a clue, somewhere to start, and then play with it. These are two clues: the sexuality and the herring. Okay. <laughs> Take it easy, smile, it's a joke. It is all a global cosmic joke of the creator. And you are, you are one of their jokers. Just discover the joker part of yourself. A mischievous joker. <laughs> there is a humor in the situation, find it. And it is healing, vibrationally healing. Some things are intrin intrinsically nonsensical. I'm sorry for the English, but intrinsically nonsensical. That situation doesn't have a resolution other than through a humor. You see? Unless you laugh it out, unless you cry it out and laugh it out, it's unresolvable. So. Resolve it through nonsense. You understand? Oh, I love your answer. <laughs> oh, I love the word nonsense. Yes. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you infinitely. Thank you. Thank you. And Max too. Thank you. Any more sharings, questions? Hi, this is Carol. Hey, Carol. It's good to see you again. Missed you last week. <laughs> I missed you too. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I was very excited to hear you talk about the shift. Been hearing that a, a lot in the last couple of years through other Ascended Master uh, channeling, St. Germain, Sananda, Angels. So it's great to hear it from my favorite master, Yogananda. And so my friend and I, uh, I think she's on here, Marianne and I have come up with a technique to push that first domino you're talking about, because we were feeling like we were waiting for the shift to happen. And we decided to take our power in the last week and get together on the phone and say, five, four, three, two, one, push that first domino that kicks off the, the shift. Wow. Thank you for doing that. Yes, and we need to continue that, huh, Marianne? <laughs> and I was, you know, I'm a little scared of my 3D comfort zone and moving into this new shift and change of the world, but I am very excited about it and would like to be super involved in the changes, new governance and uh, changing the planet, cleaning it up. Any thoughts on that? Played out in your imagination first. There is a lot of scenarios, and they're all in the air. Resolve them in your imagination first. So when they happen, you wouldn't have time to digest them. You wouldn't have time to emotionally incorporate them. You would be able, you would need to jump into action faster than you can think. So pre-program, pre-decide, pre-analyze several scenarios. What you would actually do, step one. And after step one, two, and three, and four, and five happened, what would you actually do? So what you imagine now is more important than what will happen later. It is the preparation work that counts. Are you going to, are you, are you willing to move? Are you willing mm -hmm. to act? If there are impossible choices, impossible, you have to sacrifice one dear thing versus another dear thing. What, how would you feel? You are free to refuse to choose, but 
the experience of choosing between multiple sacrifices is essential. That's, I guess that would be one of the key experiences that are harvested from this shift. Choosing between multiple sacrifices, equally dear. Just experience, not the choice, but experience of being faced in the choice. Hmm. That's where we are at. How can you play a game where you have to sacrifice? But not, not choosing is also a valid choice. But space in that choice is important. Shining, shining brightly. Holding the light and shining. Choosing, making a choice of a positive action and then sticking to this choice and shining and leading the action. Making the choice of sacrificing your choices and giving up your choices and signing up for a service, a service and fully integrating, incorporating yourself in somebody else's system, somebody else's action, somebody else's structure and serving, which is very unusual for the Westerner for the Westerners. But that would be also a big choice just to submit, choosing to submit and join the forces, which obviously there is none of the forces that would be obviously, the, which will be purely positive. You will have to choose between half-baked positive and another half-baked baked positive, or half-baked negative and another half-baked negative. So choosing and then sticking to your choices, that's another weird dilemma which you will have to face. <laughs> it's like choosing between two parties that you hate, something of that sort. <laughs> Healing, just self-healing, taking on yourself, being ha being vulnerable, allowing harm happen to you, and then healing yourself quickly, fast, so to serve, so to serve again. Self-healing, being a regeneration machine, healing machine, healing factory. Going into the fire, burning the self and recovering fast and coming back, doing the work while harming yourself and recovering fast. You do it anyway, but now you will do it on much larger scale. You will have lots of help. <laughs> Any more questions, comments on this topic? Thank you. Sounds like I should be doing some writing or journaling about this. And um, thank you for your support. And I do hear mentors are going to come and help mm -hmm. as well. Is that mentors? Yes. Uh, what kind of mentors? Um, I hear once the shift starts going, um, we'll have some support through mentors. And not sure how that takes form. It might even be someone like you. You mean uh, other dimensional mentors, spiritual yes, mentors? Um, yes, I think so. Hmm. Yes, it's nice to have a council of mentors, someone who passed through similar challenges, but realize you are the one playing that for the first time. There is no parallel. That transformation is unique in many ways. So you have the expertise and you have to make the choices. So. Consulting others and then making your own choices is essential. And sometimes you clearly, clearly disagree with your mentors. And that experience, is experience in itself. Uh, being in a disagreement, clear disagreement with your mentors. And usually they are right, but are you true to yourself or you're just a good 
mentoree <laughs> a good student listening to your teachers so choosing that is another challenge and experience okay, usually they know a little bit more of the future so that's why they are so wise and um, they know something which they cannot tell you but they can give you kind of a mentorship advice based on something which you don't know so listening is important yes but then you might want to argue and sometimes you might want even to replace your mentors if you are not satisfied you are that free that entitled Thank yes. you. I think that helps everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I have a question along the same lines as the girl and her mother. Thank you. Before. April. Yes. Uh, recently, my friend of 40 years told me she was coming to pick me up and she was dropping off her grandson for his graduation. She didn't tell me that she was going to his graduation. She could have told me, but she always wants to say negative things about her family. So she told me that she was coming to pick me up at the store. And I called her in about an hour, and she still wasn't there. And she says, yeah, I'm, I'm just on South Fifth right now, so I'll be there. And then she wouldn't answer the phone again. I waited another hour. So I called somebody else. And the next time she called, she waited three or four days before she called me. And she called me and she says, you know, I had to do all these things. And this person wanted this. And this person wanted that. And this is always her excuse. Somebody else did it. And then I had a thing with, Another friend, he came, I, I went over to take his mail. He's disabled. So instead of just taking his mail at the door and saying, I don't feel good, he, he asked me to come in. And then he screamed at me for holding the mail. <laughs> so I left. <laughs> and my, um, I told my friend, the woman, not to call me again. Because I'm tired of all her stuff. She stole several, several thousand dollars from me. And I just let it go. And uh, she's done some other things. And I just kind of let it go. And she's always talking about her family badly. And I kind of let it go. And now you say, don't cut off completely. Keep them as friends. So... What is your suggestion, darling? Yes. Um, <clears throat> realize these are reflections of you. They show to you something which is present in yourself. You might cut them off as friends in physical reality, in this physical illusion. But keep them in your heart and keep communicating to them in your heart. Because if you cut them off in your heart, your heart becomes damaged. Your heart energy becomes blocked. So it is healthier to keep their relationship with them yeah. in your heart. But you yeah. can't pretend that you cut them off in the physical reality illusion. You might be upset and scream and attack them, but keep loving them in your heart. That is the duality be dishonest if you wish outside in outside expression but be integral and honest and loving in your heart not other way around not to say positive things and be hateful in your heart but say negative things and be loving in your heart like like a grandmother she can pretend to be angry at the grandchildren but they know she loves them anyway right so that's my advice <laughs> Be nasty to others while still loving them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, realize, often it is the reality shifting. 
and people are just don't they're not in their mind anymore it's are not the same people sometimes you talk to different versions of the person and you have no clue what happens there they have no clue they are completely lost so <laughs> forgive yeah, them you can still be angry at them but but forgive them in your heart I, I feel that of the man the woman I think she's kind of catching on in her own way that that's not because she did wait so long she usually calls me the next day she waits a whole day and then calls but this time she waited three days or four to call because she figured I'd be mad. Then I just told her, don't, I don't care. Don't call me anymore. <laughs> just, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, you don't care. Whatever. But keep the relationship going in your heart. Well, it's it's like another version of you. It's it's you. It is a joke of the creator, but it is you just saying, hi, I'm, I'm you too. <laughs> yeah. The man I get, I forgive more quickly. I mean, it's not not even a matter of forgiving. It's just when are they going to learn to stop behaving like that? Whenever you learn, it's yeah. all you're learning. Forget about each other. Just learn yourself. Learn right. yourself. Learn how to manipulate these lost people. Manipulate them with love. You become integrated with the Creator and uh, give others the lessons with love. Just deliver Thanks. the lessons. Be a deliverer of the lessons. <laughs> yes. Any more questions, comments? Yes. Yes. Uh, I have few questions. Go ahead. Remind uh, me your name. Um, my, my name is uh, if you call me Frank. And, Frank, um, thank you. Uh, I, I'd like to know how can I help myself to uh, to be more relaxed. I just I just find uh, it, um, quite stress. And uh, I like to find a way to to uh, to be more re relaxed and uh, to 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 breathe well. Right. Um, first, realize that you're not fully from this earth. So your problem with relaxing on earth comes from your genetic and spiritual heritage. Your design is overly mental and not fully fully adjusted for the earth conditions. So it is a lifelong adaptation process. You cannot change your genetics. You cannot change your past lives. You cannot change your soul vibration. So you are adjusting to that and it is a foreign environment for you which you have to just tolerate and kind of mm, adjust to it as a foreign environment. Second, how is your meditation practice? No, not quite good. I can't get into very deep. How is I, your how is your Tai Chi? Tai Chi, uh, I, I don't I don't play it a lot. I, I don't play it. So, so you just you suggest me to play Tai Chi? It looks like that would be the easiest path for you. And also, how is your relationship with women? Do you have feminine energy around? That's what seems to be missing in your environment. Uh, yes, they are they're just my friends. No, yes. Not, 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 not close. Yes, not, so, so not, uh, maybe doing Tai Chi with, uh, with the friends of... Uh, mixed gender uh, might give you a bit of energetic rebalancing. You need some feminine energy. You need some feminine touch as well. Friendly is sufficient, but 
but you need that presence of femininity, even a feminine cat or uh, some sort of. I don't know what's what's available there, but uh, uh, and the children yeah. also children, children energy, especially feminine, little girls, just friends would be would be very healthy for your rebalance. Uh, no question, because um, mostly Pei Tai Chi are old ladies. Um, oh, that's beautiful. That works great. Working Tai Chi with old ladies would help. I don't know. They, 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 will, they will teach me some uh, postures, I, I think. It is the energy exchange. It doesn't really matter what you do in terms of activity, but since you're mental, engage in your mental activity, but also work on your non-mental activities, like physical heart, physical heart, energetic healing, and balancing. So when you do Tai Chi, let your mind do the thinking, what to do, how to move things, but also let your automatic uh, subconscious to move the body as well. Okay, like, sure. like, like a wave. Now I do it mentally. I think how I move my hand this way. And now I relax and turn off my mind and let my hand do it itself and see what happens. So back and forth, mental, subconscious, mental, subconscious. So learn to move your body from your heart and any parts of movements, like is it Tai Chi or some other arts, dance, martial arts, uh, meditation dance, whatever, let mental guide it and then release the mental and that let your subconscious guide it. That should balance it because you need to give your subconscious more of freedom to act. That's what is missing. Okay, so there is multiple personalities within you and some of them are repressed. So find safe ways for them to express themselves. Now okay. you act, you subconscious personality, now you act. Let's see what you do in safe environments. And being with strangers in a group is a very safe environment. Because whatever they do, if you become laugh laughing stock, if they laugh at you, it doesn't really hurt you at all. It's very healing. So laugh with strangers. But keep uh, keep uh, keep an eye on your wallet. <laughs> Hold your wallet, but but laugh with strangers, right? I understand. Uh, and uh, I have another problem is. Uh, I, I cannot see clear pictures during the hypnosis state. You're not there yet. Your uh, brain and third eye is pretty developed, but your heart and lower energetic centers still needs need the development. So again, rebalancing your feminine side, your feminine energies and rebalancing your subconscious. It's it's a rebalancing you are by design, you're too mental. So you need to rebalance into more. It's called grounding. ground yourself, integrate yourself into more animal side of you. So let the animal side of you express itself, integrate it, it's more natural, more, how do you call it, artistic, um, spontaneous, mm, intuitive side, yes. That side needs to be integrated more. So it's, it's, it's an action not only of mind, but it's also an action of all other energetic centers. So the flow of energy through your body. Uh, do you have access to acupuncture knowledge? I guess through internet you might be able to access the acupuncture knowledge, right? No, not at all. Uh, I'm, I'm just a hypnosis right now. Yes. So maybe thinking about meridians and learning about traditional Chinese meridians would be uh, interesting to you. That's also the balancing. When okay. you feel painful spots on your body, uh, analyze these painful spots through the meridian analysis and see where you're you out of balance. You should be able to rebalance yourself this way through traditional meridians art. Okay, but I can still I, I, I still cannot fully aware of the energy. 
Right, that's the path. That's exactly the path. You you are not aware of the energy because your energy flows are disconnected. When you integrate your subconscious, when you integrate your feminine side, when you get access to the feminine energies, your spirit will be more complete. Now, right now you have parts active and parts blocked. So when you unblock components of your antenna, it's all antenna, one, one um, um, spirit body, it's incomplete. When it is complete, then the images will come brighter and uh, more true. Right now they are blocked by lack of parts of the antenna. Do you understand? Uh, like how parts of antenna, what's that? Antenna. Antenna is an electric device which is used for the radio and television. Antenna. Antenna is uh, something on the roof of the building for television. You know, this electric sending and receiver antenna. So what, what do I do with that? Your body is an antenna. Your body is a sender of information and receiver of oh, information. Okay. And the spirit body is also, the energetic body is also receiving information. Right now, your energetic body is incomplete. There are blockages, there are certain parts that are underdeveloped or blocked. Yeah, yeah, I just feel, uh, I feel I'm stuck here. Yes. And, How is uh, your food? How is your diet? Diet. Uh, I recently decided to uh, accept meat again. I see. It helps with your spiritual work, but also it might it might uh, affect your health. So when you feel like your health goes down, you might want to eat some meat just to come back with some nutrients. With the practice, you you might go go healthier for longer times, but maybe you need meat once in two weeks or once in a month just to recover for missing missing components. And okay. chicken meat and fish meat is lighter than uh, uh, red meat. Okay, thank you. And uh, recently, I, I'm, I'm using hypnosis technique to tackle my negative emotion. Yes. And uh, I, I just ch check my emotion one by one and uh, try to try to release them, all of them. Release, yes, but. Respect your emotions. You don't have to repress them. Work with them. Still feeling anger is great. It's just the way you deal with it is important. So there is a lot of hidden blockages. And also, since you're not quite human, your emotions are not quite human. Don't be surprised that some of the emotions are not as in others. So work with them. Analyze them. Yes, it's beautiful. But don't repress them. You still um, should be able to feel anger, but don't dwell on it. Don't mm, put it too much weight on it. You might okay. just um, feel the anger and fear and then decide what to do with it. But respect, respect the emotions. Every emo emotion is to be respected and they are part of your energetic flow. Don't repress any of them, but... Um, Integrate them in a healthy way. That's what I want to say. Integrate your emotions in your life in a healthy way. So what, what kind of negative emotion are still holding on? Usually the most critical ones are the ones of your early childhood. The ones of your first time you realized you are not free. And first time you realized you have to obey. These are most critical emotions. And these are the ones to is is harder to work with. And when you finally start healing them, that gives you a lot of unblocking and liberation. So uh, your relationship with your parents in your early childhood are the ones. When they are... Uh, were angry at you, when you realize you cannot get what you want, when you realize you have to obey, these are the most essential emotions to work with. So, so try to re release some anger, right? More like heal than release. Yes, heal it, yes. Anger and fear and uh, the understanding that you are not fully loved. Like, initially you believe that everybody loves you, but when you realize 
the love is limited. That's the sadness. That the sadness. Oh, I'm not worthy. Or oh, I'm not loved fully. So that blockage of love has to be healed one way or another. And uh, I like to know what, what kind of aspect I'm still uh, fear. Uh, I still fear about that. About what? Uh, fear. What kind of aspect? You see, fear is a very helpful emotion. Okay. Fear allows you to exist in a society. Okay. And allows you not to kill yourself. Fear is very helpful. It is only about integrating the fear into your life into a healthy way, which is important. Fear is often is how you how your subconscious tells your consciousness that there is something coming subconscious has more information about the future than your than your mind so sometimes you feel the fear and it tells you something is coming before you actually feel it before you see it so respect your fear work with it integrate it but don't let your fear block the energy flow because many people have blocked hearts because of the fear and and they become unhealthy because the energy flow is not coming to them anymore they the energy flow is blocked so unblocking your heart and placing your fear in a, such a place so that it is still useful but doesn't block the energy flow that's the secret do i understand that um I'm, I'm, I'm not, I, I don't, because uh, I, don't, I, still, I still have no idea about energy. I, I'm not experiencing it fully. Right, I see. And uh, another question is... Just a second, let me think. Okay. Just a second, let me, let me connect to that. Pay attention to your subtle sensations. Usually, the understanding of energy comes through your fingertips, subtle sensations, sensa sensations in your skin, in your muscles, in your bones. Pay attention to them. You receive the information about energy through sensations in your body. So pay attention. And if something is scratching, it's not just by chance. It is the energy is telling you something. So become a more attentive to your sensor perception. It's all physical information, all physical perceptions. The pains, achings, achings, and uh, uh, vibrations, uh, touching sensations, how do you feel your clothes, how do you feel your skin, all of that, just pay more attention to that, how you feel your organs, the pains in your body, and sometimes you feel some electricity outside, pay attention, more attention, to it, and calibrate how that relates to the, to what you are doing and what you are feeling. Do you understand that? Not, not quite. <laughs> not quite. And, uh, mm. and, uh, okay. And uh, another few question is, is uh, the, the heart, the one of higher self say I'm still on path of uh, fully awakening, but he, he he didn't show the clear path. Um. Yes. Uh, that's 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 normal. It's uh, normal. You uh, you are doing good. You're doing well. So, sometimes the path is completely unclear, sometimes you can see a few steps forward, and yes. right now for you the steps forward would be to feel your body physically. The first step is to pay much more attention to the physical state of all parts of your body. Awareness of the body is is something foreign to you, but it's normal for humans, and it is a step towards feeling the energies. Just different parts of the body. Feel your fingers, feel your skin. Pay more attention to the simple sensations of your body. Just one step at a time. That's the next step. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. And uh, next few question is about hypnosis. Yes. Uh, could you please tell me your understanding about hypnosis? Because my teachers doesn't, I think my teachers doesn't show fully about their understanding. Can you be more specific? What do you want to know? Uh, about um, memory re regression. I I don't I don't do it quite often, and uh, when I do it, I always fail. I don't know what's 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 wrong. Yes, I understand. Hold on. I'm not sure what specifically, what form of hypnosis do you use. So it, are you using self-hypnosis, right? No, not no self. Uh, I, I use a, a David Elman hypnosis style. What does it do? Uh, mo most... Mostly about healing, but I recently use it to to connect to the higher self. Do you do it yourself, or there is some assistance? No assistance. I I just I I have uh, many subjects. Is it in a group? Sometimes group. Some sometimes just by the, uh, by the phone call. Okay. So one on one. Yes. So what is the question then? And uh, how why I... is the question why you don't always successful, right? Why you are not always successful? Is it the question? No, no. no. My question is uh, how can I do a memory regression better to another another person? I see. Hmm. Just a second. Right. Um, it looks like it is a one-sided approach, one-sided meaning unbalanced. You are so eager to succeed in that approach that other approaches become less developed. So take your time, develop some other sides of your spirituality, and then you will be given more success in your hypnosis practice. Okay. So you have to, to be more successful in hypnosis practice, you have to uh, catch up in other ways of spiritual development. And live development. What kind of way? Um, <laughs> uh, first principle, the main principle, you have to be successful in your spirit development and in your physical life as well. Okay. You see, so physical life has to catch up. And this physical life includes your understanding of what is the success in physical life. So it has to go side by side. If you just focus on the spirit, they have to, the spirit guides, the spirit players have to withhold because they need to you to look back at your physical life and uh, do the work in parallel. So it is a dance where one leg in the dance, or like you walk, one leg is spirit, one leg is physical body. So both lives have to go in parallel. You have to develop both in spirit and both in physical life. You see, it has to be balanced. You cannot do multiple steps with one leg and no steps with the other leg, because you will just walk in circles. If one leg stands still and another leg steps and steps and steps forward, you will just walk in circles. Both legs or both wheels of the car have to go with about the same speed. So your life has to be balanced. They cannot really give you lots of progression in the spirit without you catching up that in, in the physical. Also, and not only hypnosis, other forms of spiritual work are important, including meditation, healthy 
physical activity, healthy energetic activity, uh, healthy um, energy flows with uh, both genders. So relationships, so relationships, and understanding their the path in physical life. So, the path as a human, you have to do your role as a human as well. What kind of occupation I, I could choose under Occupation, you mean profession? Yes. Your talent is in your mental work and ability to uh, process a lot of facts, a lot of facts and numbers. But that makes your physical body disbalanced. So you, if you just work with your eyes and your head, your physical body becomes drained. So think about activities where you can catch up with your physical body, get the energies with the physical body. Your would need to communicate in a healthy way with other humans. So the good profession for you would be where you have to walk a bit, talk a bit, and do the thinking a bit, and have a good good service to others, be helpful to others, and also teach others. You have a teacher capacity, so you need some profession where you also will be in the middle between your teachers and your students. What kind, of, what kind of things I can teach? Oh, you're not there yet. I'm not sure. You have the talent, but you don't have the knowledge yet. So you have to learn it first. Okay. And, uh, and uh, I have, uh, also have a trouble of uh, memory regression about myself. Mm -hmm. uh, things blocked mm -hmm. of the, my, my past memory. Yes. Uh, give it some time. You have to catch up in your other areas of life. Uh, am, am I a star seeds, uh, rainbow children, crystal children? Yes, absolutely, uh, yes. Star seed, yes. Rainbow, yes. So, okay, okay. Thank you, Gananda. I, I don't have a. Uh, Thank you. Anyone else? We we have to wrap up wrap up soon. Um, oh, uh, okay. Yes, Akina, go ahead. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, if you um, make a little quieter your sound. It's just uh, oh, okay. your own sound. I got two mics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. I I turn off my. I... Super. But now but we cannot hear. hear. Can you hear that? Yeah, good now. Okay, uh, I've got my laptop, so make sure that I you can hear my. But it's reverberating, right? Uh, you have to turn off something else. Maybe one of the speakers. You have multiple speakers. Maybe turn off one of this. Can, if you have the phone, turn off the volume on your phone. Okay, I turn off my phone. No, it's it's my um, <laughs> okay. I'm having a hard time today. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna um, turn off my computer. Oh, hold on a second. Just you have just put it away. Like do a few steps and put it far away, like behind the wall. Don't turn it off. Just take your phone and move move it away. Is it better? Still no. echoing. If you have a computer and a phone, just put it away. Something. Something. Okay. Is this better? Yes. Yes, now it is good. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, all right. Is, okay, I'm, I'm gonna Make your speaker really quiet. I'm going to leave the... Uh, okay, is this better? Yes. Okay, good. This is just a laptop. I'm going to just get on the laptop from now on until I fix the speaker. Thank you. My name is Yogananda. Hey. Um, I've not been able to attend the afternoon sessions, um, but today I made it a point that I'm going to stay at home and talk to you. Um, I wanted to ask you quickly about my, uh, the bro my brother 
Um, yes. I'm not being able to see you. But I felt on Tuesday, I mean, many weeks ago now, I think two or three weeks ago, Tuesday at 2 a.m. in the morning, I felt you, your energy, your love. And then after that, I felt my brother. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, his energy was mixed with the mine energy, and I knew that that was him. And I felt both of you. And then after a while, my brother was with me, and as he was longer with me, his mind energy started to calm down, and he was a little more in the heart of love, as he, you know, he had that love for me when I was younger. Uh -huh. And and then um, I, you know, it, I cannot see, and this is the vision I want to develop that would be great, so I can see the Im image also. But I'm just feeling right now, right? That's beautiful. So we, so we did uh, go. Um, I mean, did you? Did I? Uh, were you here and you took me because I, you know, that's what I remember. Um, everything was done accordingly to the rules. Uh, your subconscious was fully aware what to do. I was assisting, it was a celebration. Your brother was a bit confused, but he was catching up. He had time to catch up and to realize the state of their affairs, their vibrational understanding. He was able to look at different areas of, the, of his uh, friends and family. So he was able to see and to perceive and to look at that from uh, the spirit perspective still below the veil, still on the earth side. So he did a lot of learning and healing for himself. So by the time he was um, transitioning, he was prepared fully. He, it was a conscious choice. He had a lot of help from uh, the spirits and angels to prepare for the transition. And he took his time as a conscious and um, well-balanced spirit. So he was ready to trans... Trans, hold on, a minute. to move over, yeah. to transfer, okay. and uh, and you did your part, and it when when everybody is in consensus, when the fear is healed, when the pain is healed, it's very easy, and it is a celebration, easy process of shift. It's coming home, like. Just goodbye. I'm coming. I'm coming home. I will be back. Something like that. I will uh -huh. be back. He will be back. Okay. It's all straightforward. It's easy. It is more like a ritual, which is a very familiar ritual for you, for him, and for me. It is part of the thing which we did many, many, many thousands, hundreds of thousands times. It's. It is uh, something natural. Something natural. This is something you and I, I mean, you, you and I do. I mean, it's. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, is it true you're going to know? Uh, Pamela was saying that in one lifetime, I mean, I wouldn't want uh, that you were my brother. <laughs> I mean, I. Uh, yes. Oh, really? Oh, my God. I mean, I. that was so. Uh, I said, wow, you're Gananda, my brother? <laughs> you know? uh, what like And the mischievous that? brother I was. Who was? M mischievous, mischievous. You were a mischievous brother? <laughs> yes. And who, which lifetime was that? With, in time of Rama or when, when, which time? Or Krishna? In between, in between. In what? In between. In between, between Rama and Krishna? <laughs> okay. Um. That's why you were That so time it doesn't come up. That time it doesn't come up. In uh it wasn't it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't India. It wasn't it India. was in India. Where was it? It looks Europe to me. Europe? Mm -hmm. Oh. 
Oh, well, that's why you were so protective of me from this lifetime too. <laughs> in Los Angeles, you know, you showed yourself and I'm going driving in the car and I'm hearing the celestial music. And then you sent your vibration. I said, who's here? Nobody knew. And you didn't want me to go through the experience as a brother would not want, you know, it was like a, a lot of loving parent, little brother, you know, all that feeling. I was, you're just protecting me and watching me all the time. And yes, yes. It makes more sense now, you know, as a, um, okay. So uh, my brother, <laughs> um, I, I am going through again, this, uh, this up and down, uh, Baba lifted me up. I was I wanting to go on the other side and be with you and Baba. And and then he said, well, I need to stay here and uh, I need to be here because I'm representing this change. Um, and materially, I'm finding such a hard time. Uh, you know, he said, I need to, uh, because I need to master matter. And I'm yes, having, yes. I'm having such a hard time to prospect. Uh, and that's why I'm in the real estate, being an artist and a spiritual being. And I'm, yes, I want to do it. I do want to be successful. And once I get it up, I'm not going to leave it until I do. But it is very, very rough for me. Um, and I get into depression. Yeah, like this morning I was feeling, well, you know, I see other people, they're doing it and they're getting successful. Why am I not progressing on my material uh, side? <sighs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> <sighs> Breathe deeply. Yeah. The prosperity is near. It's just falling in your hands and you're too busy doing something else and don't have time and energy to catch the prosperity. It's all here at your reach. It's very near. Um, it's just doing the work right and getting into the flow. Um, it's all about the balance in movement. Balance and movement. Balance and getting into the flow. Just connect to this energy. It's all yours. It's all you're supposed to be there. You're supposed, you're, every, everything is helping you to be in the flow of the prosperity and in the flow of matter. You are professional there. It is just your little misconceptions and worries that prevent you from seeing it falling into your hands. Okay, so how can I clear that? Yeah, just, just integrate it so it becomes all happy. Like smile first, clarify first. Remove, release the pain first. Be like shinier. There is light in you. You just confuse it with darkness and it's kind of all mixed together. So just knock the darkness out. Knock the darkness. Just clean it. Clean it. Clean. Shy. There is a big lamp covered with a lot of dust. That's, that's how I see it. Lamp with a lot of dust and uh, uh, goo and um, other dirt. So just clean it up. Just clean it up and there is lots of light in you and it attracts prosperity. You're supposed to be prosperous. Yes, I feel like that. I have so much energy and it's all this energy is, you know, it's like in a ball. It needs to burst, but it needs direction and, you know. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, so. Forgive um, yourself and don't worry too much. Don't worry. Like, stop worrying. Uh, just, you know. Put Just the worry on the side and love it and pet it, but don't make it center of your existence. Keep okay. it on the side. Worry on the side. May have a lot of prosperity with a little worry on the side. That's a, that's the formula. Um, well, I, I feel a fear, a fear of survival, I guess. <laughs> yeah, my, the main meal is your prosperity, and the worry is on the side as um, as mustard. Okay. Um. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm, I'm getting better in my meditation, but I need to also communicate with you, uh, with Baba. I, I want to see your image. I want to see, I want to, uh, you know, I want to be there and here at the same time uh, in full, full, uh, full expression, uh, spirit and matter. I need to see the form as well as communicate spiritually too. So that, that's where that I have to do that, you know, because it, it, that's what you when I was that's what I learned from you we, we can be in two places and that awakened me at the time when I was 
in 88 when I had joined the Self-Realization Fellowship. Okay, so th there's another, <laughs> there's another question is like, can Baba, can Baba come through, does, is Baba with you? I mean, you know, yeah, the Baba is here, Max is tired, Max is not ready. Okay, so can we have a uh, private session with uh, Baba, with Ma uh, Max and you, or, you know, can we do that later when Max is relaxed? Oh, in principle, yes, but now there is a lot of things happening here, so the energies are mixed. So plan well, don't rush. Give give uh, all of us a little bit of uh, not time, but uh, flexibility to to incorporate that. Yes, the answer is yes, but don't don't rush it too too much. You well, have I also much on your plate, so. In, in the due time and when, when the time is right, yes. Well, I have to, uh, I just wanted to just uh, real quick. Uh, Gary's, uh, you know, he has done another um, mischief. And um, should I just go ahead and file uh, in the magistrate court against him? Or, that, or can we do just this privately? That'd be better. It's too much. Uh, I know Max had so, you know, a long. Um, try not to get too engaged into revenge. If you can somehow sort it out in a peaceful manner, that would be better. There is no peaceful manner with him. He's just uh, creating, he has just gone and created another, um, he's gone and made another uh, false deed while the case is going on to hide the property and um, maybe we will we, we, we'll do it later. Okay. I, I'm okay. Ask, we'll but have a private session. Still explore more peaceful possibilities. There is no uh, communication with him so I have no other choice. Uh, so we'll, we'll talk about it later. Okay. That might be better. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. And uh, please bless me to... Oh. Yeah, let's finish with a little meditation. Allah yeah. Allah, relax. Breathe consciously and deeply. Breathing is essential. We'll work on your breath right now. Take the breath and take in the energy, the prana from the universe. Take it in your heart. Breathe consciously at your own time and deeply consciously keep breathing. And move your hands up and then down with your breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And now relax your hands, put them on your heart and send the energy to your heart. Allah 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 A lot of solutions is coming. A lot of help is coming. A lot of energy is coming. Keep your center. Stay centered. Stay yourself. Be yourself. Choose wisely. Don't spread yourself too thin. Stay focused on the most important things in your life, on your body, on your health, on your closest friends, closest family. Focus on the most important things and send your love and energy in that direction. Don't get distracted into negativity. Focus on positive, positive action. Allah. Times are coming when you have to choose and choose most positive, most dear, most central things to your being. We invite the angelic help. We invite the Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Ariel. And Archangel Gabriel. And they are sending their light to you. Their color, their wave of energy, their love, their support. And say to yourself and to them, 
I accept. I accept. I accept. Allah Nayaha and with that we close the session today i thank you all for co-creation i thank you all for sharing i thank you for your love and bravery and making choices and facing the challenges and experiencing the experience. Take it easy. Take it with integrity. Take it with love and live it fully. Amen. Thank you so much, Max. Thank you. Thank you, Max. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Yogananda.